uh, I'm back. Back in business, baby. Back in the, the booth. The flu, something, something wicked. Mm-hmm. Flu knocked me out. Yeah, you were fucked Welcome up. Welcome back. I lost, I think, seven or eight pounds. In so it's no longer days. Fat Nick. Yeah, no, you I'm look good. Still, no, I'm still fat. No, you look better. I lost, you look no, thinner. I got, you know what I did? I got an expensive scale that shoots electrodes to your body to tell Whoa, you really? exactly what what can I get on it it says I lost bone while I was sick <laughs> <laughs> that I have Do I you suffered need me to, bone loss while I, can, I was sick I can supply with a little bone pal actually you know you say that as a joke <laughs> but a lot of people don't know that Stav's dick actually has a bone in it yep really so always, you're always hard, hard? I'm the, stiffed up 24-7 the, the oh that's 25 horny. 8 the Greeks evolved from birds <laughs> that's why you go back way <laughs> that's and, right all the, all the people that had history like way back in time they evolved from mm-hmm. birds and and reptiles and shit and all the newer people like the Irish and blacks were apes <laughs> oh, Jesus fuck. no it's true I Dude. read this book <laughs> it's just cool I found this like 250 year old book in the library what was it uh-huh. called it's an old science book <laughs> it's old it means it's, it's called, good it's called where those the I, why the Irish and the blacks are so dirty by <laughs> by professor <laughs> George Washington <laughs> Uh, I highly respected medical and science book in its time. (laughs) Uh And it says that if you if you scrub a a black person hard enough, eventually they'll turn into an Irishman. (laughs) Interesting. (laughs) What did they say? What did this tome have to say about Jews? Uh, I don't think they were around yet. Oh, they were around. 250? I feel like Professor George Washington had some opinions about Jews. Oh, the Jews were the first people, everyone. That's not true. They were around forever. Absolutely not. Adam, the first man, the he first wasn't Jew. Jewish. Wasn't Jewish. He wasn't Jewish. He he. Uh, they were, they Eve were was. They were Christian. She was, she was like Christians what? came first, and then they invented Judaism later. When Jesus, no, the first Jew was Abraham. No, Jesus fucked up and got mm-hmm. hemmed up on some bullshit charges. That's right. And they were like, "This is really going to free my gonna, man Jesus. This is going to be bad PR." Uh-huh. And then so all of Jesus's boys were like, yes. <laughs> "Let's blame it on Jews." Oh, and somebody was like, "What are Jews?" And they're like. They those, retconned those guys. That's, they retcon Jews. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so those guys over there, those fight, those big nose guys with <laughs> shitty sandals. They all have big. Anybody noses. that likes deals, <laughs> anybody, you know those guys that just have that voice. <laughs> What is that? That there's just like a group of friends that are all annoying. <laughs> and that's the story. Oh, wow. That's the story of Hanukkah. Interesting. Wow. Jesus started Hanukkah. Yeah. Well, no. Jesus just went no. to jail. Jesus got, yeah. For trying to promote the Subway sandwiches of the time, yep. which was the Bible. Well, Jesus was a uh, Bernie bro. He was anti banks. Yeah, dude. Actually, he was, actually, he was no. A Marxist. No, he wasn't. He was, uh, he was, a, he was a libertarian. Jesus was, Jesus was a libertarian. Yep. Well, uh, didn't they they stole the concept of Jesus from it was Zoroaster and their guy? It, it was just uh, it's like Freddie Mercury, basically. Oh, uh, gay Why? guy with a mustache. Gay. Yeah. So their god was Freddie Mercury, <laughs> and that's who Jesus is based off. Oh, of. interesting. Oh, okay. Big queen. Wow, we're learning a lot today. Yeah. Well, you know, I've been doing a lot of reading while I've been sick in bed. While you've been having the flu. Yeah, you seem smarter. Yeah, well, the what the flu does. I also read this in my book. Is mm-hmm. uh, the George Washington? Yeah, one? <laughs> when you get sick, you need to start cutting yourself, uh-huh, and it uh-huh. gets all the black blood out of your system. Oh, you need that the humors. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, what an illness is, according yeah, to Mr. That is Washington. You gotta shit. bleed it out. The Greeks, yeah. the Greeks came up with that. Yeah, we thought. I remember they so thought, every fluid in your body <laughs> is like you have to maintain like a balance of your humors fluid. Mm-hmm. That's right. I, I kind of do the same thing now with co- I have four fluids cold brew, a mm-hmm. green juice, cum, kombucha, cum, and cum. Oh, the fourth nice. fluid. So I just have to, if I'm running on all those, I'm feeling good. And Adderall. I'm starting to think it might not have been the flu. I inhaled a bunch of iron dust. Mm hmm. From what? I was grinding the inside of a cast iron to resurface it. You resurfaced really? it? Wait, yeah, you grinded it? I got it pretty smooth. You can go look at it. I didn't I didn't uh, re-season it right away, so it immediately j- has just started rusting. Yeah, that was... So Why don't you just re-season it? Why no, the fuck no, it has, now I have to throw it out. 
Why did you grind How them? How much is this? Like like no, they're like fucking fifteen dollars on Amazon. Oh. But they're the, the lodge ones, and they have like a bumpy surface. Yeah. But if you just go at it with a with an orbital sander and like mm-hmm. sixty grit, you can get it to like a pretty smooth finish. You work your way up. Ah, that l- you get a mirror finish on that. Why do you boy. want that? Then I can see you myself. Put a little stank my on it. No, I'm going mirrors everywhere. You want to fucking look at yourself? Yeah. Now that you're no, slightly I, I, less fat. No, what I was gonna do is I was gonna resurface or just reseason it, but then like I was trying to get all the gunk off and I couldn't, so I used a wire brush mm-hmm. to get it off. And then you fuck that up a little. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah. like you know what? I'll just take this all the way the fuck down. And it's like when you eat a little chocolate bunny. Yeah. And you have the ear. You're like, I'm just gonna stop at the ear, and then you keep nibbling, and then it's just the bunny's feet, and you're like, I gotta uh, eat the bunny. That now. old problem. I don't know <laughs> all know about it. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Eat a chocolate rabbit meant for a child. <laughs> That's an Come adult. on. A seasonal chocolate. Come on. You that, motherfuckers have never nibbled at a chocolate bunny that, like, no, and that it's that secretly, July and you're eating only Easter in, candy. Only in stores in, in, in early April. It's September now. And stuff is... <laughs> That's use. not something you've experienced. You've eaten too much of a chocolate rabbit that you're only going to no. eat a piece of. No, you're alone on that well, one. You, oh, come on. I'm imagining, yeah. I'm imagining a young Stavros befriending the rabbit and then crying as he eats his <laughs> friend. <laughs> he can't help but kill his friend with his fucking eating problem. He's too hungry. Yeah. Like, that's legitimately, that would be <laughs> a huge mama, issue. I can't stop if, eating. <laughs> if pets were edible, I would 100% have eaten my pets, dude. Yeah. There's no Did way around that. Right hold on, hold on. Pets are edible. No, you know yeah. what I'm saying. If you just took a bite <laughs> of meat. Dogs were made of chocolate, and they were living and shit. Stop. Dogs are made of chocolate. A, really? That's why they're allergic to it. Oh, too they much can't they have die. too much chocolate. That makes sense. Yeah. For real, though, I would eat. I, if my if you like Anna, if all pets were made were large chocolate things that didn't melt because of whatever magic, but you could bite them. Uh-huh. If life was basically like that episode of The Simpsons, where Homer's thinking of about course, what Mr. Germany Simpson, is we, like. are, we are from the land of chocolate. Yeah. yeah, The land of chocolate. Then I would eat them. Then I would eat my pet. Um, yeah, so anyways, uh, we should probably talk about a hot item. Somebody asked me to comment on the PewDiePie story. What, what? What? He's, he's a YouTube. Uh, he's being persecuted. Yeah. For, well, I, he, you know, first of all, I don't know what the fuck. I don't use YouTube. He said the N word. I'm not a YouTube guy. I don't and understand he's that YouTube world. All, all I know of PewDiePie is that I was walking past Barnes and Noble two years ago, and he was speaking there. Oh, <laughs> what? And I assumed it was new, some more of that, like, what did that Tao Lin? What was the name of that that genre of Tao? Yeah, Lin Mumblecore. No, not Mumblecore. Mumblecore. It alt alt lit or alt lit is alt- that? Lit? Yeah, no, I guess, that's not what PewDiePie is. He's no, I know, but I assume that's Talon, what it was. Because, I thought, oh yeah, because of the stupid name. And, right, right. And, you're right. You know, I'm like, this has got to be some dipshit that makes like SoundCloud rap and has published a book of like one word per page. Yeah. Where's he from? PewDiePie, Sweden? PewDiePie could be the name of like a girl with like those really short bangs. Yeah, he's you know, from, like he's from Sweden. Like a centimeter. He's I thought it was Sweden. a cartoon. No, he's from Sweden, he's a racist. And, he's, and he's five nine, which is basically like being a pedophile in Sweden. He must you be the a, smallest man in Sweden. You're a complete outcast yeah. in Sweden mm. at that height, which explains his why he became sort of like a YouTube gamer guy. Now, I guess the the deal here is that he was live streaming himself playing some first person shooter, mm-hmm. and some guy shot him, and he called the guy the N word. Oh. He goes, can, I, oh, can you believe this guy is being a, you know, whatever. Mm-hmm. And people are outraged. You're like, oh, we knew he was racist or whatever. And it's like, yeah, the language is wrong. But, like, for, I don't know why we can't just admit, like, he was kind of right about that guy. How was the guy being? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> If you he ignore a- what he said, <laughs> wait, he what, shot said? him. I, I don't know. That's pretty. Oh, God. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. I understand. You know what? I just don't get <laughs> about the whole thing. I don't know who the fuck PewDiePie is, but he's streaming a game and he said the N word. It's like, how is this the first time that's happened? Right. Yeah, that's pretty in good record. Mind, in my mind, like Twitch. The world of Twitch and yes. getting popular on Twitch is just a game of who cannot say the N yeah, word the longest. Yeah. And Twitch, this the headline here is that PewDiePie just ended his high score yeah. of being <laughs> the longest time. He's like the Ken Jennings of, of mm-hmm. not, not saying, saying the N word uh, while playing video games. I thought that he's a repeat offender. Like he lost like a Disney contract. He did or so, Yeah, he did some other racist shit. Yeah, because he did. Yeah, he, did he, he did stuff that was like irony, you know, or whatever. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which I, again is like that I'll defend, and even even this is like I I don't even think he's really racist. He's just that's like an outburst you have online if you're a fucking idiot that just spends all their time playing first person shooters. Like it's he was just trying Xbox to assimilate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is he like he's trying like, to just join the I mean, culture? It it's, is racist, but it's course. not like that's like oh, this is some hidden. This isn't like an outburst where he lost his temper at some black eye on the street, and there's a video of him screaming, you know, the n word. It's not like a Mel Gibson sort of thing. He yeah, just not, doesn't know what else to say, which is why you have to use faggot acceptable <laughs> until mid 2018 when you that think word we still will have, also be retired. I think I still feel bad when I say it. Yeah, but you say it constantly. And I feel bad about it, and I'm trying to stop. I am going. Oh, that was <clears throat> that was a rough one. Ew. Damn, dude. Anyway, so is he like particularly <laughs> good at video games? Like, why is he so popular? I don't know. Is dude. he cute? I don't. I really don't understand. I mean, like, we he's joked not around. Cute. We joked he's around not about. Cute. No. About. Um, he's better looking than you are. Actually. Absolutely. So no, he. Right. he uh, it's pretty cute. You're though. cuter. Thanks. No, he's better. He's better looking. Than you are. All right. He's weird looking. He's got a but fucked yeah, up. He bowl said cut. he's not. Does well, he have I a bowl cut? I think, he's got a up bowl I think cut. you're confusing Dylan Roof and PewDiePie. <laughs> I literally might be, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine if Dylan Roof's name was PewDiePie? Holy shit. And I they think, did report I think that's that who PewDiePie I'm shot up a church. <laughs> he will, dude. That's the next racist the trial thing PewDiePie's going to do. PewDiePie. I'm just mad. No, what happened, what's going to happen is PewDiePie is going to go into a black church, and they're all going to be camping behind the pews, and they're going to snipe him as soon as he walks in. And then he'll have his racist outburst. Uh, that will mean oh. something. Because they were, they were sniping and camping. They were not camping. Fighting. They weren't playing the game the way they you're supposed to. They weren't playing the game the right way. With honor. <laughs> With discipline and honor. <laughs> fuck PewDiePie. How, That's my how take. dare you yeah. camp? My yeah, take, this is a huge PewDiePie, loss dude. Uh, for anyone. Fuck YouTubers, number one. Yeah, fuck anyone First that cares. strike one, you're a YouTuber. Yeah, it's all about having a podcast on Patreon. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's cool. First of all, other people made that's that That's how game. you do social it media with honor. For other people made that fucking, we, we were the, we're on the vanguard, dude. We're, we're the Patreon fucking. Yeah, we were the uh, second Patreon ever. Absolutely. It was, first it was, uh, someone selling their nudes. Yeah. Who's that account. lady with no eyebrows? What's her name? Selling her nudes. Who? Oh, she's with those like, fucked up eyebrows? Yeah, she's she looks like magic a, marker on, on her shit. She's married to that guy, Gaiman. Neil yeah, Gaiman. She, wait, yeah. she's married to you? That lady What's with her name? No, Gaiman. And, and, Gaiman. Andrea. And, and, and Amanda. Knox. Knox. Hell yeah. Uh, Amanda. Hell yeah. Amanda Amanda, she just got some fucked up uh, eyebrows. Hold on. I know her fucking name. God damn it. And people give her money. Amanda for it? Palmer. God damn it. From You know how hard it is <laughs> to use my brain? <laughs> There's so much yeah. in there. There's so much when information. It's, when it's not, yeah. It's such a big file cabinet you got to go through. Right. There's so much buffering. Well, I'm um, thinking of someone else with fucked up eyebrows. What does she do? She's a singer? She does nothing. Oh, yeah. Isn't she the one that... Oh, I was thinking of someone else. You're thinking of the lady who's, like, ripping off her band? She's got, like, the number one, or maybe Chapa's number one, but she has, she has like, the b- biggest... Yeah, Patreon. Amanda Palmer. Yeah, that's right. She was... She... She didn't pay her band or some shit, or I don't fucking know. She didn't pay her band. Now she yeah, has Patreon. Yeah, she was fucking people over a while ago. Word. I think. All right, whatever. So that's that's that. That's that hot <laughs> use item. <laughs> yeah, Amanda fucked Palmer up eyebrows. Fuck someone up. Um, you know, you should get on Patreon. Hmm. Cisco. Yes. You should. New I music. Fi- I get five bucks a month. I, yeah, yeah. I literally would for songs just sent directly to my fucking yeah. inbox, dude. <laughs> Hell I want, yeah. I want to fucking. I want to fucking. No, it's just the thong song every time. Remix. That's fine. <laughs> remix once 20. a month. <laughs> I'll take a remix of the thong song a monthly. I want to be in that subscription service, How about dude. About that bong hit transplant song. That's good. The bong. <laughs> the bong <laughs> song. The bong song. Uh, yeah, she put a. Bag moldy of banana chips and a moldy old banana. <laughs> also, I've never even seen a banana get to moldy. The king. Yeah. <laughs> That's I miss not so at much. all what stoners eat. I said, "Yeah, right." Would you have a bong hit transplant? And then everyone at the Seven Eleven turned to me and began applauding. <laughs> <laughs> for I had created the greatest joke of all time. Tommy, Tommy, Tommy. People, start, people are doing that, dude. Did I ever tell the story about 
uh, the show at the Hamilton Arts Collective with Tom Myers. I believe the one with the the TV. Yeah, with the TV yes, that he wheeled this is out. Great stuff. I don't know what if I happened? told the story or not. Uh, so Tom <laughs> you haven't had, told it. Tom, <laughs> Tom, Tom had a tour of comics one time. He Cold. like put together. Well, he goes. I told Andy Klein. I'm like, yeah, Tom's got his own uh, tour now with comics. It's him, Brett the Irish comic, Cat Malone, and uh, I think I can't remember who else was on it. And fucking. Uh, Andy Klein goes, what's it called? The shitty comics? <laughs> <laughs> it was even better, though. It was yeah, called... The Heathens the of Comedy. The Heathens of oh, Comedy. Oh, they're bad. The yeah, fucking that's Heathens, bad. dude. And the logo was a burning cross. <laughs> no, it wasn't. It was. Oh, you got yeah, that's MySpace. like a KKK. Thing. I know. Tom yep. just didn't know. <laughs> he thought, it, he thought it meant like set Jesus on fire. Yeah. Oh yes, <laughs> yeah. yes. Uh, oh yeah. Tom, big so I, Tommy. No, the the Hamilton Arts Collective had 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 the Heathens of Comedy there. It was hosted by Lucy Fur, which was just a videotape of Brett the Irish comic wearing sunglasses in front of a fireplace. <laughs> and during, hosted by a video. Yeah, dude, Tom, Tom, during Tom's the job yeah. that's only about energy. G and getting the fucking audience involved. <laughs> Tom did a fucking like hour, and during his set, after every setup, Tony Grasick starts going, uh, Tom Myers, Tom Myers. So before he gets to the punchline, everyone's chanting his name, and then he says it. And then the response is, Yeah, you know, he, like Peter's out. So he's not, he's like bombing to chance. The king, the uh, once and future king. Oh, yeah. God. No, that show was bizarre. Like, I mean, I mean, he he ate it, and he ran off stage crying. And oh no, they, uh, Cat Malone, don't pretend like you give a shit, dude. It's You're sad when they this cry. Fake performative empathy you have dude, for let people me that you signal, dude. For for people that you mock. Have you ever met Tom? Of Adam, course, you, I've met Tom. You've had the least. Relationship I've had the least, uh, definitely the least. Yeah, yeah. I mean, when I met him, I was already a fan. Yeah, and his yeah, reputation yeah. preceded him. Well, so he was, he was crying. But then you watch him, like, almost like uh, in a second in his head, as the tears are drying on his face, go no. It's society that's wrong. You know? <laughs> and, then he, and then it's like, I killed. Tom you know? is Hillary Clinton. Yeah, he immediately, basically. Yeah, it's the same personality oh type. God. They that's also have the same body and haircut. <laughs> <laughs> also the same taste in sunglasses. It's weird. The more I think about the Tom, Tom Myers, Myers is Hillary, Hillary Clinton. Clinton uh, <laughs> it's true. It's probably from, it's from true. her pussy, which he ate. Hey, oh, that's how no, you become she Hillary never Clinton. Got She's you. like a werewolf. <laughs> if you eat her pussy, so you turn yeah, into her. I can't. <laughs> I can't. Yeah. I, can't. I, I, I hear she's hiring interns. <laughs> the best part of that joke is the adjusting the belt. He says, oh, yeah. <laughs> he says she's probably going to hire some interns yeah, right. and they adjust the belt. Uh, oh. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, like a, like a 50-year-old plumber <laughs> showing up to eat some pussy. <laughs> so Got to adjust post, the belt. Postmenopausal. <laughs> Cobwebbed pussy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shouts out to Tommy. Wait, uh, yeah. Dylan told that story about how his brother, uh, Dylan Meyer's brothers. Yeah. Uh, Tom was his waiter at a Mexican restaurant. Oh yeah, that's yeah. right. No, there's a YouTube of him like touring that Mexican restaurant as if it's like going to be the new hot comedy venue. Yeah. But I think it was pretty much just a place that he was working. The yeah. Fun. Props to him for getting a waiting job. He was he was wor- he worked at Seven Eleven. Yeah. yeah, that's a that story up. about the bong hit transplant about being in line behind someone is a lie. He was working at Seven <laughs> Eleven, <laughs> <laughs> which you know everybody's got to everybody's got to work a job. I would take a Seven Eleven job if I had to. You know, when the bottom falls out, I'll be working there. You think Seven Eleven? Yeah, that or Chevron or Valero or. Valero. <laughs> That's the coolest sounding gas station. Yeah, it sounds like uh, Spanish. Valero sounds like a sword. Yeah, Zorro's like, sword could the be boss named is, Valero. The boss is like Ibiza. a very slick looking Spanish man with a pencil thin mustache. Yes. And yeah. A spy versus spy outfit. Yeah. He comes in. Where is the money from the gasoline? <laughs> <laughs> the gasoline. <laughs> I'm from Ibiza. Yeah. Que tienes dinero de gasolina? 
<laughs> They're like, do you even know Spanish? <laughs> no. Yeah, it's an Indian I guy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my name is Brian. <laughs> my name is Brian. Uh, I, my mom uh, used to get high off battery acid while she was pregnant. Battery acid, yo. I have battery. I have battery fetal fetal this battery is a, syndrome. This is a speech impediment. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the mama her pussy has a seizure when I was born and it cut off the blood to my brain. I am from Illinois. <laughs> <laughs> I would grow up, I uh, had to wear rubber pants. <laughs> so to make me cool, I dress <laughs> like this. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, please, uh, yeah. where the money gasoline? Where'd you get that convertible <laughs> Duesenberg you drive yeah. around in? It's the only car that let the retarded people drive. <laughs> <laughs> because it's so old. <laughs> <laughs> At the DMV, they say you can drive a new car. It's loopholed in. Oh, that's I good. I can drive a convertible uh, Duesenberg. It's nice 12 <laughs> cylinder. Nice <new> character. <laughs> Retarded. Retarded. Valero owner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> drives a fucking Duesenberg. <laughs> no, he's an employee. Ooh, ooh. No, he's yeah. the owner, dude. He's the owner. Yeah, excuse yeah. me. Which way to the urinal so I may clean them? <laughs> that is my job here. People think I am the owner because of the big feather in my head. <laughs> but that is actually growing out of my head through the hat. <laughs> it's a deformity. I don't want to have a feather in my head, but I'm part bird because my mom fucked a green. <laughs> Brian, man. <laughs> Brian. Brian, you're a wild man. Ah, uh, that's a good character. I was doing a character with Shut um, Go called for uh, Horny Goku. Go for it. Yeah, I'm horny. Uh, <laughs> can I suck your cock? Yeah, that's pretty good. It's yeah. pretty good, right? Yeah. I got to get in the rhythm Excuse of it, me. you know? Is this, the, uh, is this a dick sucking workshop? <laughs> I'm yeah. looking for the. This is, it's like an elderly guy that's gone. Oh, I thought it was McConaughey. Oh, it's an elderly guy that's gone well, to the community. <laughs> Community yeah. continuing learning. Like at the YMCA. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking for the, uh, huh? the, the dick sucking workshop. <laughs> yeah, right through here. It's still Goku. I'll suck your dick, sir. <laughs> what does the scanner like say about his power level? <laughs> he's gay. <laughs> <laughs> it says he's, he's gay. gay. There you My go. Vegeta's not bad. That's an old. That's an old. I never watched Dragon Ball Z. Oh, I come didn't on. either. I it's didn't good. Have, it was on cable, I think. Yeah, you broke bitch. Uh, what is it about black people? Why do they love it? Yeah, so what much? is what it mean? about <laughs> black people? Let's get into that. Yeah, uh, the new what it. Do you mean? Stephen Dragon King's Ball Z rules. It. But but like oh, every black person I'm friends with is a DBZ head. That's not true. Yeah, it's pretty much you're generalizing, true. and we don't do that on this podcast. Yeah, but, uh, well, the, the problem is that you only know two black. people. Yeah, you're talking about Jamel. Yeah. Jamel I don't even know if he is. There, there are he black is. people that are comfortable walking around with a man that wears flood pants. <laughs> I'm not wearing flood pants. You're wearing like yeah, that's true. You, you, your, you do suck. Your cool guy clothes on. I'm just wearing. I've a decided t-shirt. we're not gonna. We got to find a way to not be so mean to Adam on the show anymore. That's fair. I'm tired of that gimmick. You're allowed to shut if the I deserve fuck up. It. We just go with the new initiative. <laughs> All right, fine. you don't allow anything. It happens to you. That's <laughs> your will. All right, that's that's fair. <laughs> the new. Huh? Can I have get head? I'll get it. That's okay. Uh, is that is that gay? Is that homosexual Goku over there teaching <laughs> the dicks? No, I'm bi. Out? I'll fuck a woman too. <laughs> is that what Goku sounds? Yeah, like? I, don't even yeah. I don't even know. It, it just does. sounds. Goku's like, the boy, right? He sort of does. Stuff. N- nuh-uh. No, the, the boy is the boy is Goku. It and that's Dragon Ball. Gohan is Gohan the, is his son. Is the son. I don't have time to explain. Which one this to has you? the fucking tail? Mister Piccolo. No, 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 Mr. Pickle. It's not his, his name is Piccolo, motherfucker. Okay. That's that green dude. But Goku the green calls dude him is that. Piccolo. He but he's black. Mr. Though, right? Which one's Piccolo? vagina? Piccolo Vegeta. is black. <sighs> Why is he named Goku. vagina? <laughs> vagina. Because he fucks. Wait, Piccolo is a green guy, but he's really a black guy, right? I don't know. Is he? I think he's it's, one of those. No, Trunks black? is black. Trunks is? Trunks isn't black. Trunks has pink hair. Yeah. Trunks is Vegeta's son. Trunks is one of those black guys that dyes his hair. 
<laughs> like little Yachty. Trunks is a little like Yachty. Frank Ocean. Um, anyway, yeah, that's our recommendation of the week is Dragon Ball yes, Z. That was a good summation. You haven't seen Dragon Ball Z. You got to check, check that it out. out dude. Don't let the name fool you. Not a lot of dragons or balls. Yeah, it's mostly yeah. Chinese guys that fly around and shoot lasers Are they Chinese? Each other. They're Chinese. They're pretty much Chinese. Japanese. Yeah, of course they're Chinese, dude. Uh, the new it. There's a really racist one. There's Mr. Popo, and he just looks like a guy that does black. It's blind black. Yeah, but they love blackface in Japan. It's yeah. fucked up. Every, it's weird. Every, dude. I mean, Pokemon's got a. a it's black their culture. Face. We oh, yeah, Mr. Mime or no, no, no. There's yeah. a trans blackface. There is a Pokemon. Pokemon. What's your name? Well, it's funny you mention oh, that because I want to get into some shit? the new It, the new Stephen <laughs> King's It. Mm-hmm. Did uh, you see it? Well, it no, funny. I didn't it's see sick. it, and I didn't see the original either. And well, wasn't the original a miniseries? Yeah, with Tim Curry. Yeah. yeah. What's wrong with my man Tim Curry? Does he have some kind of disease? He's in a wheelchair and shit. No, he's just gay. He's not gay. And even if he was, that'd be cool. He's gay. He's one of those British guys that's just extremely gay. And he's like, I'm not telling. And everyone's <laughs> like, he's just a uh, gender trendsetter. <laughs> he's I don't wow. think he's gay. He embraces uh, d- d- destroying stereotypes. I about bet you he fucking You know who's like day. that, too, is he's not British, but Kevin Spacey is like. Kevin yeah. Spacey's gay shit. You'll Kevin never Spacey's know. Gay, no, Kevin if Spacey Kevin Spacey, is Spacey gay. was British, though. He's, he's not out of the closet gay, though. Come on, that guy's gay, It though. doesn't matter. He's been seen slapping guys out. Asses. Yeah. Well, we do that all the time. Yeah, but it's a British joke. guys are either gay or they buy prostitutes. <laughs> Adam, you're both. Yeah. I'm you're British, double British. <laughs> no, the new hit movie. The sun will never set. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. I, so I didn't see it. I uh-huh. didn't see the original. But you know what I've noticed in the Trump era? People, I feel like they would have called this movie transphobic years ago. Mm. For the clown? Yeah, and it's called It. Mm. Oh. You know, I mean, and I feel like wow. the reason that they're not wow. th- there aren't these bullshit wow. think pieces about movies anymore is because of us. No, because of Trump. Because of Trump. Trump. <laughs> they have, they have <laughs> something really? real to complain about. Mm. So they're not complaining about bullshit anymore, which means that the world's kind of gotten better. At least for me, a rich man. <laughs> uh, so that's your take on it, huh? That's my and take on it. Trump. <laughs> Um, I haven't no, just seen think it. if Hillary won every single movie, it would have been. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But 101 Dalmatians, a not a single damn one is a black woman. That's How true. How is that mm-hmm. possible? They're mm-hmm. all dogs. That's yeah, very that's not true. fair. Yeah. Okay, I see what you're saying. I was skeptical at first, but you've now swayed me. What You know, it's the motto of the show I'm always right. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a motto for the show. <laughs> Bitch. Oh fuck! I love you're that. You're breathing only a, in your own farts. Oh, that's a rough It's only one. affecting you. That those are. I I made I made a pork there's shoulder. A, there's a wind guard on the microphone that yeah. your fart is getting trapped in. Well, and yeah, then you're you know. you're farting into the wind guard and then you're bringing it Should back I take to your the wind face. guard out. You uh, if I walk away for five seconds, don't derail the show. I gotta blow my nose. Okay. No, you'll be all right. I made a pork shoulder. The reason my farts are so powerful is because I made a pork shoulder. And I made beans and rice, and also uh-huh. a corn salsa. An entire shoulder of a pork. The whole. Well, it was a half, because I throw too much of it away. What do you mean? You don't put it in the fridge for later. This it's is just, interesting. It's just not as good. I think this is, with Nick gone, this is a good opportunity to say thank you because Nick wasn't there on Monday. But Stav and I hosted. Oh yeah, our nine eleven spectacular review. That's it was right. the biggest one we've ever had. Yep. Every and comic was a former jihadist. Every comic. We tried to get an all um, Arab <laughs> lineup <laughs> for the nine eleven. The funny Arabs moms. are coming comedy tour. Yeah, that's right. But it That's's turned out we one. only booked Sikh comics. That's right. Which I didn't know it was a, there different, was a different thing. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's I want to do I want to do one of those big comedy tours but it's like the Bangladeshi comedy tour and it's us. And uh, yeah, well no, it's just guys I find in bodegas. <laughs> That's <laughs> Yemen. Uh, all the bodegas in Brooklyn are Yemeni. Most of them. Uh, no, the two that you go to are Yemeni. There's That's not true. Definitely Bangladeshi. The guys. old one by me, the one next to here, the the two by my new place. You just listed two different That's places. That's four, dude. That's four. If no, you're listening. it's two. You said the number two. <laughs> you fucking idiot. Why don't you learn how numbers work? <laughs> All right, let's go through it then. Nick. One. No, no, say it again. One is if you have one of something. Yeah. 
two is one more than that. Okay, so uh-huh. two. You just said two. Three is one more than say two. The Why did you just say again? one, dumbass? I, I was starting with one. I was telling you how numbers No, work. you said three is one of something. Oh, I said three did. is one more than two. Mm. No, dude, three is three. I didn't say three is three one is of something. Three is three. Yeah, Three is not bro. one more than two. One it's and two are separate. No, you. F- no. It can be three and one more than two. <laughs> God damn, you're such an idiot. Moving How on. How am I an idiot? Uh, I'm, I'm buying, an attorney. Guys, I'm buying a weight vest to wear around. Oh, what is fuck. that? <laughs> for like pull-ups? You can be one of those guys? No. A- like for, for, yes, cent? For, for pull-ups. Ankle weight guys? Yes, but for all when I go around so that I'm 50 pounds heavier. Hmm. Just to be <laughs> so, so you'll burn more weight or something. No, to it's look actually more intimidating. It's actually something I learned from Dragon Ball Z. You know, what you, <laughs> you know what you should get, Nick. If you're really trying to cut weight, you should get one of those uh, box, like those Missy Elliott suits oh, that yeah. boxers like wear when they try no, to cut the, weight. The, 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 that the, Martin the Lawrence garbage bag yeah, almost yeah. died in. Is that the that's the Super Duper Fly music video? She's yeah, got. it's so sick. Beep beep. Who's got the keys to the Jeep? Vroom. It's a good ass song. I, I love can't that song. stand the rain. Uh, you know what? I love the rain. You love the rain I against love, my I love window. The rain. What? It appeals to my yeah. The emo rain soul. against my window is actually a kind of a pleasant thing. Yeah, it doesn't if, make if much you're, sense. If you're inside, sure. I'm not a. You know, I'm gonna be. I'm. I'm anti rain. Anti rain. I get if you're wet. driving. My shoes are wet. Against your my window, feet feel you bad. You gotta put the windshield wipers I on. Imagine bad. stop like a distressed elephant caught in a light rain, <laughs> <laughs> Just waving his tail back. I and hate forth. rain, dude. You hate it's all rain. Dangerous. Yes. <sighs> Do you know we might Inside. get this? We might n- get this next hurricane. Maybe oh, it's fuck. probably not going to happen. Hurricane Jose. We should we fu- we should fucking. Hey, hey, excuse, we should have me. a hurricane. It's we should me. all sleep in together. It's going to be. Hello, it's me there. We're getting a real Brooklyn hurricane here. Real so Brooklyn sky. guys, hey, come whoa. over to my house. We'll have a hurricane party. Hurricane Sandy. Hurricane. We'll make Jose. chili. You guys, yeah. the hurricane's gonna get we're no gonna spots. Make chili. Why are we talking about the hurricane? We're gonna make chili. We with current talk- events. No, we already talked about the hurricane. When? Today? Uh, oh, when the, the last bonus. one happened. Did that did you release that the bonus? Uh what no, there was no bonus this weekend. Oh. There was not? No. Yeah, there was none. Nick was uh, sick. I was sick this weekend. Wait, what? Uh we we gotta take a break. Folks, it's Nick here once again for MacWeldon.com. I know what you're thinking. Uh, who is Mac Weldon? You know? And Truth is, I didn't act. I didn't look it up. You know, I don't know. I don't know if it's a guy or just the name of the company, like Bob Evans. You know, actually, I think Bob Evans might be a person. Um, but whatever, Mac Weldon. It's a company. They make underwear. And uh, you know, I, I if you're like me, you probably don't spend a lot of time thinking about underwear, which you know is fine because they do. Mac Weldon thinks about underwear all the time. Uh, in fact, they think about underwear so much that they've produced the best underwear that money can buy. Uh, with smart designs, premium fabrics, and a very simple online shopping experience, Mack Weldon is changing the way that you and me don't have to think about underwear at all, really. Uh, one of the ways they're doing that is they have a line of silver underwear, which uh, is just the name. It's not actual. They're not metal, but it's uh, the name silver underwear and, uh, and the shirts that are naturally antimicrobial. And what's that? What's that mean? You ask? Microbial? Who cares? Uh, again, you don't have to think about it. From what I understand, it, it means they have bugs in them that eat smells out of the clothes, so you don't have to bathe. Uh, Mac Weldon doesn't want you have to think about all that. They just want you to be comfortable, and they want you to look good. Uh, and that's why they produce underwear that performs well for any occasion. Going to the gym, you know, working out, going to the gym, pretending to work out, leaving immediately because you hurt your back, which is what I do. Uh, you know, going out on a date, maybe. You know. Wear a nice pair of Mack Weldon underwear. Uh, and they're so sure that you'll like your first pair that if you don't, tell you what, they'll refund the cost and they'll let you keep the pair of underwear because uh, that's how much they stand by their product. So log on to MacWeldon.com and use promo code CUMTOWN, C-U-M-T-O-W-N, to receive 20% off your order. And check them out, uh, MacWeldon.com. Thanks, guys. Adam's having a housewarming party, but... I can't attend because I already took a dump in his new girlfriend's <laughs> pussy. <laughs> yeah, Adam, what kind of party is it actually? Uh, it's a it's a like everyone to for everyone to be respectful to me. And everyone take a shit in your my new, new girlfriend's pussy. Ooh, no, not 
Is that what the party Ooh, is for? Ooh, that's that, what the party's for. I'm not going to say that on the pod so every Tom, Dick, and Harry listening to the show. Is that what it's for? If we can talk They're about not this. invited. It's just for your friends. I'm just saying. I'm not saying anyone can shit in your girlfriend's pussy. She might pussy. listen to this. And <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, if we make an arrangement... Okay, you an arrangement. Do it off pod. Now, wink, Adam, wink, Adam was you. telling me during the break that he's done a little bit of a little bit of craftsmanship. He built around something. the house. Is that something. true? Not really. No. I mean, I I got. I mean, my friend, my friend that's crafty, Max. Max built that thing. Because just a second ago, you said you built it. No, I said I. I. But you do know not Max. P- you know Max listens listen. to this show. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. I, you know, that's I'm, why I put you in this position. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I don't actually give a shit about your shelf. I Nick's just, coming back to uh, to do some more work tomorrow. Oh wait, hold on. Sorry about that. I, Nick's boyfriend just called. My my, <laughs> not my boyfriend. <laughs> it's the president of the United States of America. Whoa, DT. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. President Bannon. I mean, uh, no, he's gone. Hillary, dude. my president. Oh, my uh, president. Uh, my, my liege. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know what I call Hillary? President Cheeto face. No. Yeah. That's Donald Trump. That's Donald Trump. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. And I, I call I call President Barack Obama President no. Hot Fire Cheeto. <laughs> 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 yeah. I was so yeah. funny when Bush was president for like eight years, and everyone's like, he looks like a chimp, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah. And then fucking Obama became president, and all the people that like. We're making those Bush chip like, jokes. Hmm. like, I hope they don't find the website. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <clears throat> no. Um, yeah, no. Sorry. The only reason I threw you under the bus there is because I knew... Uh, I knew you were trying to steal valor, which I was stealing construction valor. Yeah. I need some. I want to hang you, a shelf. You don't do. You don't do that. I want to. No. I, I'm I doing want to mount a TV. I would. You notice I put the pictures of your new bookshelf that I made. On Instagram, I saw that, and I made it clear that you were doing the painting because, you, well, you said that because it's for women to, to paint. Yes, I said that, <laughs> but I also did not take credit away from you oh, for that's painting. True. Well, I painted your bookshelf. You painted your bookshelf. That I was my gift to you. It's not my bookshelf. It's the I second made bedroom. I bookshelf. made that for you, for you. I ma- I make things for people. As everyone thinks I'm a bad guy because I say mean things and I steal from people. You don't and steal. I d- well, you're not aware of it. That's what makes it stealing. Oh, well, yeah, I guess so. Well, no, you can be aware of being stolen from. It doesn't have to be secret. Oh, that's true. Yeah, I guess, like... <laughs> I guess that is how stealing works. <laughs> well, let's put it this way. I've been taking LaCroix out of your fridge while you've been Whoa. napping. I've been just walking into your apartment, taking them. Are you kidding? Yeah, that's <laughs> fun. I used to live with a guy that would steal change out of my room. What? And it's like, you can just borrow change, yeah, dude. I'll you don't you have to... Yeah, you 42 cents. And I, I knew, I just didn't like that he was going to my fucking room. Mm-hmm. And so I, I went out of town one time and I left all this change on my desk, like a trap, like mm-hmm. a pile of fucking change. Yeah. And this was before, I mean, you know, I didn't have like a cell phone with a camera on it until like probably 2014 or 15. That's right. Mm-hmm. You were a late adopter. Yeah. So I, there was no way to take a picture of it. So I like meticulously lined up this cardboard box with, with the inside of my door. Right. And then shut the door so that if it opened in any way, it would move the box out of the way. Right. Ah, and it would be hard to set back up. Smart. And I got back into town after week and I was like, oh, hey, man, how's it going? And, you know, we talked for a second and then uh, I started heading towards my room and he's like, oh, by the way, I had to take all that change off your desk. <laughs> he like what? just told me <laughs> and I was like what do you what do you mean he's like I had to borrow some money and he took like $20 worth of change off my de- every single coin did he give it back no because he had uh, he ordered pizza and he forgot he didn't have money <laughs> <laughs> That's not needing to take something. <laughs> did, you ever, did you ever like encounter a real clip like real kleptomaniac like? No. I knew a guy in college that one of my best friends is like is like that. T- he, yeah. With bits? Um yeah. <laughs> No, he uh he he like just loves stealing and he spent the majority of the last like decade in prison. In, yeah, in jail and shit. Just because he loves stealing. I remember I was talking to him on the phone after he had like gotten out one time. Yeah. And uh, I was like, yeah, man, we got to hang out, you know, and he's like out and about or whatever. And he's like, I just hear him go like while he's on the phone. This? No, I came in with this. 
<laughs> no, I was wearing this when I came in. You can look at my bag if you want. No, here, go ahead. Look at my bag. <laughs> he like walks away. He's like, dumb Chinese bitch doesn't know I stole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that guy just loved stealing. Hell and you yeah. know what? Props to him because he would get away with it 95% of the time. Yeah, but that 5% I saw, sounds like he and spent then he would 10 get, years. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I saw the... Um, and he would get caught for burglarizing a house. <laughs> <laughs> and spend his youth behind bars. <laughs> I stole the other day, actually. What yeah. did you steal? You I seem s- like a stealer. I stole from Whole Foods. Wow. I stole uh, one of those. Take you know that, those, Bezos. Those you, know who's, you know who's a shoplifter? Is uh, 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 the guy whose name I can't say anymore on the show. Oh, yeah? Uh, he is? Yeah, oh, yeah, Sarah yeah. Lerner's really? husband. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Sarah Lerner's <laughs> husband. That's Damn. I, he's like, I, you know, it's just, uh, he's, he's always like, as long as it's from a bigger store, one of those people, yeah. they're like, if it's from a corporation... As if like I agree <laughs> No I mean because, I agree Because then the idea there is what That small business owners aren't shitty Well you're doing more damage en- Enough of a difference to their bottom line Where it doesn't yeah, either, It hurts it, you're, you're stealing I mean yeah. it's There's no There's no difference Yeah but I feel like I, I do is. feel less bad I think there's a moral Walmart. difference Between stealing from like a family owned thing Than stealing from like fucking Target or something. Not really. Why? Because the effect on the bottom line between the two of them is so fucking negligible that it really doesn't matter. The I effect don't think that's on true. because you're, line, you're you're hurting you're hurting you're hurting Walmart you're hurting Walmart like maybe point zero zero. You're hurting Walmart not at all. And you're no you're point zero 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 one percent. And, right. you're, and uh, uh, yeah, and if enough people steal, it'll raise their insurance rates. So it'll zero 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 one percent versus the mom and pop store zero 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 one percent. Yeah, I mean it's it's negligible. You're not really hurting. I the know, mom and pop store I is not going to go out of business baby. because you stole a single. Yeah, it is a bigger number. No, it's a it's bigger a number, but they're operation. both negligible. So what's the amount you would have to steal before it's... I mean, I wouldn't steal like... A, I don't know. I used to steal a lot when I was a kid. By the way, go ahead and steal if you want. I don't yeah. give a shit. What was the first thing you stole? I, I used Adam. to steal porn a lot. Nice. Yeah. When I was like... Yeah. From yeah, Hudson right. News and airports, <laughs> it used to like I had like a weird face. How is that? How is that possible? So I'd be, be on the way to tickets. camp. I'd be on the way to camp. Yeah, he, would he would buy, buy airplane tickets. No, whenever to I was the porn. <laughs> whenever I was going to camp, like when I was like 13, 14 years old, I'd go to Hudson News and steal porn, and then it just it it, it carried on until I was like maybe twenty. Mm. Do you remember getting homeless guys to buy you liquor? I never did that. I used to do that all the time when I was like 17. We'd ask older brothers with fake IDs. I would get homeless guys to buy me liquor all the time. <laughs> Greek people would buy buy you booze, no problem. Oh, yeah. yeah, I mean, there would be older, you know, guys, like guys I knew there. But you were also an alcoholic. Yeah. So you need when you needed it, you needed it. Baby. I remember doing that, having some homeless guy buy me a handle of Tito's and then driving did it around. Did it ever go drinking. bad? What? Did the homeless guy no, ever steal never. your money? No, I never had a problem with that. Did they ever molest you? Tip you? them? Uh, I'm, no comment. <laughs> that? Did you tip them? No, you just let them drink some of the liquor. <laughs> you shared it, it with, of their, course. with their homeless mouths? Yes. I, I saw mean, you were kissing them. One so of the most fine. beautiful things I've ever seen, I was in Santa Cruz, California. I saw two homeless dudes. One had an ice cream cone, and the other one had a <laughs> joint. <laughs> and they traded them. That is awesome. And dude. I was like, that is the cutest. That, that is, is fucking the beautiful. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> that no was joke. The, the, most ha- the happiest I've ever seen any person in my life was it was Christmas and, and I was back home in Baltimore. And I was, um, this homeless guy with no legs um, asked me for a beer. And mm-hmm. I went in, but I got, I upped him to a 40. And the look in this guy's eyes when he was like, you got me a 40 ounce? <laughs> and it was like the most happiness I have ever seen in my fucking life, dude. And you know what? From now on, I'm going to start doing that every Christmas. Buying homeless people liquor? 40s. But saying I'm going to get them less liquor and then getting them more. Yeah. I would just buy them heroin. Yeah, he was you doing coke out? also. Yeah, he, was, yeah. he was doing crack. He literally was. <laughs> <laughs> just buy him a couple of rocks. <laughs> but that's scarier. I can get him a little old English. What, what is was your crack? 40 of choice? St. Ides. Hmm. Why is crack worse? What? Why? Because it's got fucked up shit in Saint it. St. Ives is the most alcohol in it. I thought, no, it like Steel piss. Reserve does. Nah, St. Ives is higher. Really? Yeah, it may, I mean, it, may, it might be the same. In terms of 40s you're talking about? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I also fucked with Mickey's. We should do uh, Mickey's is good. Edward Cobra, 40 the hands, bro. When I worked in the mall in the, <laughs> in the cell phone place, yes. uh, I used to have the... Uh, 
there's a guy I, hi- I would hire these other people that were over 21 and then I would make them go buy me Hell beer yeah, and shit dude. and I remember getting like a 40s and Mickey's and drinking it in the bathroom at like 8am right as I opened the store and then like coming back to work very nicely just done. helping people drunk and, <laughs> and they all just knew I was drunk <laughs> <laughs> a drunk child yeah oh hell yeah a drunk kiosk cell phone salesman <laughs> going back to kleptomaniacs I knew this guy in college that was a kleptomaniac who got caught by his roommates for stealing money out of their wallets damn and what they did is they like set up all their like computers and they covered like the little green light on and like turned the screens off just like taped them they had like three different angles and I watched the video and it was like one of the most insane things I've ever seen he like is sitting at his desk doing work he gets up goes to his roommate's uh, like roommate's desk opens the drawer looks in his wallet like goes takes the money out puts the money back in the wallet closes the door like gets up three or four more times oh, damn like he had this like whole routine and stuff it mm. was one of the craziest things ever that's like but, when you're kind of eyeing up X videos and you're like nah I'm not gonna beat off I'm not gonna <laughs> and then you're like <laughs> you just scroll through he a little was, bit there was a, it was I a total wind up. sometimes I'll just look at porn and I'm like yeah not today <laughs> <laughs> not today penis I got I got better stuff to do <laughs> like look at civil war articles on wikipedia <laughs> with my pants down what are you been learning about far. you were learning about civil war stuff? no i can't remember that the last the last wikipedia article i read all the way through was the great dismal swamp wikipedia What's that? article it's a big swamp in virginia it's, and it's dismal it's bad that's really that's a great name it's called the great yeah that's why i read the article that's cool so the great dismal swamp is it like the biggest swamp ever or? i don't know i mean is it's it pretty really fucking, fucked up it's pretty fucking big they named it that because at the time they didn't know the value of wetlands oh was they thought value that to them they didn't know were that like swamps waste? were good yeah. are they good i thought they're bad i, I guess everything mosquitoes and shit yeah and I mean, it's humid you can't grow shit you can't can. grow that kind, but it, you know what I'm saying. You could grow that hydroponics. Oh, take, a, take a little boat ride through a mangrove. What do you get? I don't know. It's cool. It's like a tunnel. That's fun. Yeah. I would like. I, I having said that, I would like to do a fan boat through a swamp, like a gator swamp. We could do that. Yeah, that would be awesome. We could do that just us boys. <laughs> I, I'm mad I didn't do that when I was in New Orleans. I want to go paintballing in the woods now that it's fall. Ooh. Although this bit of Indian summer we've had this week has been. Uh, I'd say distasteful. <laughs> it was cold. No, I like it, dude. Cold. I'm not I like ready it. For I'm already ends. wearing fucking jeans and hoodies and shit. I got caught outside today in a hoodie in 80 degree weather. It was hot. That's fucking bullshit. Yeah, it was hot yesterday too. I um. By the way, shout out to Rad Milk. Uh, the boy has done it again. What, what happened? He do? He, so all he does is he like fucking just like puts bullshit on like the same shit everyone was doing in like 2012. I guess not everybody, but funny people like yeah, yeah. They just comment on like brands pages. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, hell yeah. So he wrote on Arby's page like, "My wife left me. Can I get a beefy double coupon, or whatever? Can I get a <laughs> coupon for the beefy big double or whatever?" And somehow somebody screenshotted it. And it ended up on the Steve Harvey show. <laughs> Steve Harvey personally commenting on it. Yeah, he's like, "I'm a fan of Arby's." They do not have a beefy double. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> that's really well done. He's like angry. <laughs> that's awesome. That's, wow, that's a good I thought troll. it was going to be like a heartwarming yeah. thing where Steve gets the guy a sandwich, but no. No, no Steve had to yell at some Steve had fake. To. <laughs> Everett the boy. Shout getting, out. getting dirty online. That well, guy's hey, hilarious. Also, he is funny as shit. Also, shout out to online boys getting dirty, Ted Cruz beating off. All right, dude. Well, we got a list of things here. So you can't just <laughs> you can't just going list, out bitch. of order. Look, you don't you don't understand. We talked about no, the it's list. Not, it's, Nick, not, it's not it's not the going out of order. <laughs> Look, you haven't you been here. <laughs> we got this we got this new system when Jake was here. The system fucking works, but you can't dude, when, we go, the, when we go to the when we go to the list. Free wheel and free Stop going this on, the, I will no, never no. be tamed the by a list. Of the dude. list. <laughs> I will never be tamed by a list, dude. I will I will we will talk about the list and if it comes All right, how about this? Don't think of it as a list. Think of it as a menu. <laughs> yeah, and I order what I want from a menu when I want. That's I thought you were going to say buffet. No, a Sometimes menu, I'll fuck around and a, get an ice cream. A menu has a specific... No. Uh, it says no substitutions. Hey, right look how many things are on that menu. Guess what, bitch? I want to eat the Ted Cruz beating off part I, of the all menu I'm right saying, now. You can. All I'm saying is, the point <laughs> is, if you have a notes list, if I say one thing, you don't go, hey, how about that? And then say the next thing on the list. That's, what, that's exactly how that's a list That's not works. how a list 
list works because you blow through everything on the fucking list and we run out of time. Let the no way. let the uh, let nope. the Steve Harvey thing marinate for a I fucking thought, second. Can I, I say put it in food I thought terms? it was a seamless transition. Adam, well, st- you know. Oh, what are you a list guy? I'm not saying I'm this a list guy. This is your chance guy. to break free from the shackles I'm saying of the list. By seamless transition, stuff meant seamless.com. Does anyone have? <laughs> yeah, can I? Do, there can was. Order some it seamless? was a, okay. It was you. You had a transition sent. I'm from a stand-up set point of view. Speaking of beautiful. X. You brought it to, it, it, to Y. All right, Roy Rogers Fine. Bacon Cheeseburger. That's down there. <laughs> How about this, Boy Rogers, and it's a place you can fuck a kid. Boy <laughs> okay, Rogers. Good. All right, Penis. now now Ted Cruz beating <laughs> Okay. All right, well, now that we're I don't want to talk about it anymore. That's how you make Guess a list. Guess what? I'm over it. Place. Fuck, you know, no, I was going to make a, I was going to say fuck Ted Cruz, but I won't because that's, I now want to talk about another part of the list. I feel like Ted Cruz beating off thing, false flag, for sure. Ted Cruz? Ted, more like Ted Surf. Ted surfs Surf the, the World Wide Web. For pornography? For hardcore, you know, you know what more I mean. More like... You know what I'm, you know what I'm saying. Uh, more like Ted Cruising for men's sex. public r- restrooms. Nice. For Actually, not more like that because it was heterosexual. <laughs> Ted surfs I think it was the fake. World Wide Web looking for you know what. What do you think it was? It's just randomly him liking porn that looked like his wife. That's, I mean, come on. He's not into that. You think it was a hack? You actually believe him? No, I think that he, I think that he did it to seem normal. I think he's into it. You think he did it? Yeah. (laughs) I think that he was like, well, Donald beat me because he has, you know, his, everyone saw his wife's boobs and they think that's cool. So I'm just like, he's running at you. There's no way that Ted Cruz doesn't have ED. Yeah, I mean, he looks like a guy that can't get yeah, an erection. Dude. Yeah, uh, cum probably gurgles out of his dick like slowly and bubbly. I think that. Well, there's nothing wrong with shooting a bubbly load, <laughs> a gurgly ass yeah, load. A little, it's like, just seeping out of your cock <laughs> slowly. <laughs> like, uh, like you poured a bunch of vinegar and baking soda down there. <laughs> that would be cool to do. You know, an experiment. Ted Cruz is like one of those cat the science like, fair. One of those like ethnic guys that like really wants to be white. So he probably just he has is white. No, he's oh, I guess he's Cuban, right? He's a, but he's a white man. Look at him; he's a white guy. Yeah, yeah but, but he's he's, he's Latino. He's, a Latino. He's, Latino. He? he's part you know? Latino. Yeah, there's white Latinos. That's true. I guess so. He's a white Latino. But anyway, I think I feel like Who the knows? way he has sex. Uh, what is yeah, I don't reinforce that idea that there's not white Latinos. There's there nothing is. I hate more than than somebody whose ancestors were most guaranteedly conquistadors fucking, yeah. conquistadors or escaped Nazis yeah, yeah. saying like as a Latino as a Chachachina as a Chuchichana I do not like to be spoken to to Tala like that it's like you have a fucking I just feel like he <laughs> you, he you have a, a swastika necklace on right now. That is from my abuelita. <laughs> <laughs> that is an ancient Mayan <laughs> medal from my abuelita <laughs> with the eagle and four swastikas <laughs> <laughs> that my abuelita got from when she climbed onto a mountain and met the butterfly that says the sunset. <laughs> <laughs> or whatever fucking Marquez bullshit. <laughs> Whoa, shit. Nick's coming from Gabriel Garcia Marquez, I did, dude. dude. I came from, Damn, I came from the week he died. That, that magical realism, dude. I'm glad. Nick, Nick has no time for that shit. I don't, dude. I do Yo, not have time for Your character for just has angel wings in one scene? Get the fuck Did out of here. Did you read that book? The yeah. Solitude? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty good. 69. No, it's not. I liked it. Overrated. I liked it when I read that it. That was one of the first books I hated. Really? Mm. Yeah. Wow. You that must have been a big it? time for you, dude. It's a long book to hate. If yeah. I hate a book, no, I just I fi- give up. I finish things. Nick loves hating things. things. I love hating things. Yeah, That's yeah. what he lives for. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but it's not like watching a bad movie. Reading a bad book is like way more of a slog. I was, uh, I think I was working a temp job at the time. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I was sitting at a desk. I had nothing to do. It was either that. You know what was so funny? There was so little to do at that temp job that they realized they hired a temp and didn't need a temp. So they fucking, uh, like one day they just wheeled in this old filing cabinet and it looked like an antique filing cabinet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they were like, we need you to alphabetize these employee records. And I was like, don't, aren't these already on the computer? And they have been for like, yeah. since 1992. <laughs> They're like, yeah, but you know, we just have all these old cards that 
we have a paper record of them. We need you to alphabetize them. And I look in it and I open it up and one of them is like, uh, uh, Eustace Greenwald, born 1897. <laughs> Dates of employment, 1923 oh to 1956. Eustace. <laughs> yeah, and it's like fucking a thousand of That's these like index cards. Awesome. You know, punch cards that they wanted me to... And I'm like... This all smells like mold. Yeah, yeah, no yeah. one's access to it. Where did you find these yeah. to fucking make me alphabetize this book? They just do it? wanted you to do something. Did you yeah. do it, bitch? Of course I did. Because yeah. that book sucked. If it had been a better book, I would be like, <laughs> fuck you. I'm reading... I'm reading Garfield, uh, Garfield bigger, Garcia, Garcia Marquez. Bigger, uh, bigger, bigger, badder, and uh, I don't bigger know. and blacker. I can't remember the name of the Garfield books. Um, one time at my at my job at a college, I worked for the I worked at the grad school at UMBC, and uh, I just found a box of folders that people were at, in the recycling, mm-hmm. and I just color coded them all day. To look busy. I had a full dues uh, That's a filing move. job. I would just the reason they did that to me is because I was sitting there doing nothing. I didn't yeah. try to look busy. Your ass got caught, bitch. You still I did didn't. something. You had to get. You had to go in the garbage. No, nah, dude. You, it was <laughs> easy. You're like Who knows diving, what kind of fucking stuff? Eating trash. He's like, I'm looking busy. <laughs> I'm shoving garbage in my mouth to look busy. I, I uh, was color coding folders in college. I was working at the Peace Corps, like their headquarters in D.C. Mm-hmm. And I was working in the like Office of Medical Services. So anytime someone got fucked up on the Peace Corps, oh, they'd damn. like file for workers' comp. And I had to, like, go through the files and file and, like, organize shit. I just spent hours reading these, like, uh, harrowing the stories. The truth is Adam actually worked for the Drinking Piss Corps. <laughs> <laughs> Different place where you drink pee-pee. Whoa. He's at an office all is day that ser- is Can serious? I give you a little insider in- intel, though? No. There are a no. ton. No, you, you can't. can't. <laughs> <laughs> it happens a lot on the Peace Corps because they put you out there and you're in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. You know, and they don't like, you're not around That's other... That's a pretty racist thing to say about Africa. No. <laughs> you're not oh. around other Africa, volunteers. Quote, quote, quote him today, folks. Adam Friedland says, it's Africa nowhere. is nothing to me. <laughs> Africa is meaningless. Instead of the most beautiful country in the world, which is the way country. I feel. <laughs> the most beautiful, it's like a beautiful diamond. I just want to kiss it every time I think about Africa. <laughs> The beautiful diamond. The beautiful that blood Toto diamond. That Toto song and <laughs> that what? I just, that Toto oh, song. Oh yes, of course. The most famous African. Do you know that Toto music. wrote "Human Nature"? The Michael you know Jackson. What, you know what Toto stands for? For us, by us. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I was laughing about Andre Wait, which, from Andre's Steakhouse thinking that "fila" stands for fellas, individuals, ladies association. <laughs> 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 you know, Andre's got a fila fucking tracksuit, dude. Oh yeah. His casual wear for when he gets home from work and he takes off his vest <laughs> and his dockers. His dockers covered in scotch guards so he can pour wine on them <laughs> and show everyone how fucking cool his pants are. <laughs> Shouts out to Andre. <sighs> we got to get him on the show sometime. Yeah. Andre? Yeah. yeah. He'd love it. Uh, speaking of steaks, I would love a steak. Was I supposed to bring him on the show just there where you said that? No. Maybe, but... I, I have a sign. Maybe another issue. episode. Yeah, you're a, sick. I can't... Your I'm, voice is extra husky today. Is it husky? I thought yeah. it was nasally. Sort of nasally, no, kind of whispery. It sounds it's bad. weird, because, yeah, I don't have a cough. It's like I wouldn't kinda, say it's husky. It sounds shitty. Like more like this. He doesn't sound like what that a, at yeah. all. I'm going to become one of those old guys. You sound like one of R.I.P. Phil Leotardo. Oh yeah, R.I.P. the actor I who played to write Phil Leotard. R.I.P. Phil Leotard. R.I.P. Uh, the Montgomery Gentry. Dude, R.I.P. Montgomery dude. Burns. So many legends. Montgomery Gentry died. So many legends falling in one week. I don't know if we can handle it. Death yeah. comes in threes, dude. Fuck you, How 2017. Dare you look at my yeah. truck. Don't look at my truck. I look at your wife. <laughs> <laughs> it's the greatest smoke ever history. <laughs> yeah, Nick and I How were watching. One night we were truck. watching like a ton and of. They don't want me in the neighborhood <laughs> because I keep cold rolling all the Mexican folks. <laughs> yeah, all their music videos are like. It's like they're oh, like hey, trying to say that when they're real you're men. drunk, everything's a political statement. Yeah, <laughs> you just get drunk and pretending they are mad about a birth certificate. They're all like upper middle class and mad. Like they don't want like. Fag Democrats move into their neighborhood. I get it's not it. even fag Democrats. It's other Republicans, but it's like 
Republicans that tuck their shirts in. Yeah, that, <laughs> that don't like mudding. Yeah. And <laughs> what did you say? Pitching machines? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's just going to replace... Who's going to replace it? It's just going to be a pitching machine that <laughs> fires baseballs on his neighbor's lawn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And that pitching machine, it's got a trucker hat and a bunch and a tire pack of parliaments that are smoking through. Oh, God. Don't you ever look at my truck. <laughs> <laughs> my truck if you look at it I'll kill you <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck uh, this is every song yeah no nah, Brooks and Dunn is the best though <laughs> nobody could beat Ronnie Dunn in terms of being a fucking just complete insane if he didn't have that velvety voice of gold he yeah. would just be a guy at a bus we, stop we watched an interview with him where it's like describe, we're your, about song. Cities. He's like, <laughs> describe your songwriting process and he's like you know for me it's like everything comes down to you know there's experiences and then there's you know because growing up all the places i live you know there's uh in new mexico arkansas all the places i live with my my family, my grandmother, and when, when, when text stands out in my mind, I think more of like a San Antonio vibe or something. That's, I mean, because that to me, that is that is San Antonio. <laughs> yeah, you know, something more, more, more or less along those lines. It's like, <laughs> what the fuck are you talking? About? It sounds like that by the tone of his voice, like he's answering the question, but it's just <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's just, just rambling. the ramblings of a of a. Of bus stop vagrant. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. When when I wrote the song, uh, uh, she's not your girl, she's your lover. Uh, I, I, I was imagining you're you're driving down a dark, dusty road one night, and you start thinking about the time you spent in the wood shop as a young boy. <laughs> There's times where sometimes you get a piece of what you want, and it's a different way you understand mm. that it was the other time <laughs> yes i'm out of time thank you <laughs> god bless america next question <laughs> uh the sweets factories oh yes you know those? in the malls i do i you guys were talking about it before i i remember auntie m's auntie ann's you fucking piece Anne's, of shit that's a auntie pretzel Anne's. place it's nothing even that's close that's the pretzels place no what the am i thinking of sweet factories is a fucking candy store with big ass plastic tubes they had a ton of fucking delicious shit in there yeah it seems no excessive. what am i thinking of the, the lady's name ethel m's no. oh, man, that was a west coast thing never mind no you're making it up there's a chocolate store called well, ethel m's. if you're from the west coast i got two words for you get the fuck out you're gay <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you better believe you're gay <laughs> <laughs> california Ooh. more like suck my dick <laughs> is that <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, Ronnie, tell us more about your latest song, California, You Can Suck My Dick. <laughs> <laughs> but, well, uh, when I was I was living in Texas, probably now 1977, and I thought to myself, you know, what, what, what would be the experience of somebody living in a different place? And I thought about, you know, a place like California, I thought I probably, that sounds pretty gay to me. <laughs> <laughs> that seems like it would be a pretty gay experience. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes. I've never heard one of those songs. No, uh, you should listen to uh, God Must Be God Busy. <laughs> God Must Be Busy. <laughs> well, there's an What's Amber that? Alert. <laughs> yeah, no, it's God Must Be Busy is like, it's a list of all these bad things happening, and then the the hook is God Must Be Busy. But there's uh, no clear political what, perspective. Like, yeah, it's like. He goes through like, oh, the job, the ship, and yeah, the jobs, yeah. all. Did we the, talk about the one right before I left? Yeah, probably. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're doing, repeating a lot of material here because somebody doesn't respect the note-taking Fuck process. Yeah, you Fuck gotta the respect list. The, the list. That's my stance, you bitches. You gotta respect the list. Dude, I got something you can respect. We got plenty. A pair of two fucking God, God I own ace. Yeah, who they belong to because they're not yours. They're mine. They're not yours. And they're fat. They're but this is a garazone. Your <laughs> testicles? Yeah. yeah. That, garazone. Yeah, wow. Garazone. Somebody doesn't speak Portuguese. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. I've been in Europe, guys. Yeah. Okay. Things are going to change around here. That's We're going to take a more European. Adam's a smart one on the show, but the truth is, is that the rest of us speak Portuguese. Mm -hmm. Portuguese. I think it's fucked up that you guys made. learned Portuguese together without me. Yeah, yeah. We've learned a lot of languages without you. Yeah. It's fucked up, yeah. 
While you're smoking cigarettes While you're smoking your death sticks Yeah We're doing fucking Rosetta Stone in we here We spent years coming up with that Brian character From Valero without you Yes, that's <laughs> Brian. right Brian Brian <laughs> 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 or the guy who at first it seemed like owned the Valero, but actually he cleans the toilet. What is it? He only wore rubber clothes? He used to. Now he dresses like spy versus spy, and he's got a feather growing out of his wow. head. Wow. But it's poking out of the hat. You think it's part of the hat, but it's actually out of his head. I am his because his mom because fucked a Greek person who we learned earlier in the show but were descended from Yes, Burns. thank you for remembering my story. <laughs> He's hard for me to remember because I am <laughs> retarded. <laughs> <laughs> Brian. <laughs> Brian. You're very you self-aware it. about that fact, though, Brian. <laughs> it uh, comes from uh, being berated by my mother. It just sounds like triumph. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah so but right. it, it sounded totally different when you first started. For me to No, on. you're doing more of a... I think you were doing to be uh, more of an Italian at first, but we said that no, it was a Spanish Hispanic. guy. It doesn't matter, dude. Come on. Yeah, you know, a, sounds like a guy who would own a place called Valero. Valero. Yeah. Valero. That's Valero. right. Kind of started when like I was that. in the mother island, Port, Puerto Chico, a couple <laughs> weeks ago. <laughs> Des- when I was being Despacito <laughs> down in Puerto Chico. That's what we do it down in Puerto Chico. <laughs> Some guy fucking walked by wearing like four parrots, and it's in like Puerto Chico. Yeah, it's like man, you got. Just get one. <laughs> you need four that parents. That stops grandpa, show. dude. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Stavros Halkis, the that original. That might be one of the most underrated things you've ever shared on the podcast. Hey, man. That your grandfather was a bird. No, the most bird underrated guy. thing is that he wipes his ass with hotel towels. I never said that. Yeah, you did. I never said that. Find the recording. <laughs> that bitch. was a really fucked up thing you I, said. I literally have never said that. You, no, not only does you do you wipe your ass with them, you wet them up. <laughs> Where yeah. find where so I said that? So you don't get diaper rash. <laughs> you I, you are completely fabricating this whole cloth. If you don't, I don't know, think let's, I let's have, run that tape. Back. Uh, yeah, I had that. <laughs> it's included in some of the soft pulls for the uh, the 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 Stav uh, app that I'm making. Oh yeah, speaking of the Stav app, the I- iPhone 10 is out. Oh yeah, oh, fuck. We, we didn't even. Oh, oh look who the fuck went out of order on the fucking I think bitch Nick's ass list. Skipped. Uh, I didn't skip. You went out of order. No. I, I said, went out I of said order? I'm buying a weight vest. This whole fucking podcast is out and of then order. You said <laughs> you don't even know. You don't even know what movie that's from. <laughs> yeah, it's from not Serpico. It is Serpico. No, it's no, not no, Serpico. no, no. Yeah, yeah. Say it. Say it, it is Serpico. This whole court. I'm out of order. <laughs> You're out of order. You so fucking go room with that. It's okay. not Serpico. It's not it's Serpico. Ser- it is Serpico. It's it's absolutely not Serpico. Serpico wasn't it's really Kramer a courtroom versus Kramer. thing. It's not. It's not Kramer vs. <laughs> Kramer. Great movie about divorce. It's actually, it's a Be More original. It's uh, uh, Injustice for All. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that Barry, is, what's his name? Levinson. Levinson. It's not a Barry Levinson movie. It's, it's a not. Norman Jewison movie. Whoa, Norman Jewison. Who was that's not. That's name? Who was not Jewish. Who was not Jewish. He Norman just, Jewison was not Jew- Jewish. No. Jewison. Jewison. Whoa, that yeah, fucking He was rules. a Norwegian <laughs> or something. My name is Keiko Dollar Coupon <laughs> Berg. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm Catholic. <laughs> <laughs> Dollar, Dollar Koopenberg. <laughs> Dollar Koopenberg is really good. <laughs> My name is Joshua Gay Krantz, <laughs> and I am a uh, I am a Jehovah's Witness. <laughs> uh, what about Rosenstantz and Gil Gilkrantz or whatever? Rosenkrantz and Gildenstern, <laughs> Hamlet's yeah, yeah, friends. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ros- yeah. How about wait, them? Wait, wait, how to stop <laughs> what about them? Say it again. <laughs> Rosen <laughs> Rosenplatz and Gildenfuck. <laughs> Yeah, that, say it again. You know what they, I mean, the best bit is trying to remember things. <laughs> that's that's not, what this whole show is. That's all, that's all good comedy. That's the whole show. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like, what was that bad day, 9-7, nine, nine, uh, uh, <laughs> when the planes... The plane. I saw Rosenstance and Gilbertstern <laughs> at fucking... Uh, they, they no, you're talking about Gilbert that. and Sullivan, dude. No, no. Pirate Samuel, No, it's a Samuel Beckett I play. am the yeah. very model of a modern yeah. major general. No, oh, yeah, the that. Pirates of Penzance. Pirates no, not, of no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nick is, like, low-key, op- like, sh- showing that he's a big musical, a musical theater, theater guy. guy. I yeah. am. I am a big musical theater guy. Do you like, um, who's the big guy? So, Steven. Steven Spielberg, No. Right? Yep. No, no, the guy who did Phantom of the Opera and Cats and shit. Uh, no, that's not Steven Sondheim. No. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's a different it's, guy. Yeah, it's a it's guy named Andrew Lloyd Webber. Aha, uh-huh, that's right. That's right. All right, Sondheim we got to end the show because I got I got to blow my nose. But real quick, uh, iPhone new one, don't buy it. It's a piece of shit. But I say buy, buy it. get the new Apple TV. That's the show. Buy. How much is the Apple TV? It's a 4K. It's 179. dollars That's it. Yeah, it's 4K. It's free iTunes upgrades to the. Uh, to the 4K versions of movies that you've already purchased. In really? HD. Yeah. In fact, if you have iTunes right now, start buying shit in HD. Well, I guess the price will be the fucking Wait, I have, a, I have a Roku and I pay for Netflix in 4K UHD. Does that mean that Roku can do that? The Roku, Roku and Amazon Fire have already been 4K. Oh, okay. Yeah. So Apple is just not there yet. Yeah, the Apple TV is shit if you already have any of the other ones. I have Roku, yeah. yeah. Apple's been behind the rest of They're the behind market. everything. They oh, just everything. look cooler. Yeah. The iPhone X is, like, shittier than... I mean, the, the, so many the, Androids the, the Galaxy it. S8, mm-hmm. everything that they were like, check out these features. We've got mm-hmm. it's a, it's a glass screen all the way. <laughs> it's all the way glass. Well, yeah, yeah. I, the fucking S8 has that. Yeah, yeah literally, yeah. the only thing... I, the only reason I have all an that iPhone shit. is iMessage. That's literally That's the only Yeah, because you don't want to be, like, hollering at a girl. You don't want to be flirting and then give for that green bubble Oh yeah You know Cause that is like Ain't nothing Get a get a pussy drier Than them green You need bubbles. to get The blue bubble You need them That fucking Sopping wet Pussy yeah. blue bubble It's a worse OS But I need that Blue bubble Is it a worse OS I don't know I don't fucking know Dude that. I don't know Enough I about I just don't want to be a lo- Like everyone who, who has A fucking Android Sucks Yeah of course Dude pocket Pocket protector. A take fucking that. loser. Fucking nerd. L seven weenies. Yeah, take that. The new Apple Watch came out too. Oh, shut up. So got, now you have the worst Apple Watch. I do, I have the worst Apple Watch. But I knew the new one was coming out anyways. It's LTE, no, you so didn't. you can Yes I did, dude. They always have nah, a fuck, you didn't. They have a product launch <laughs> no. every September. You have literally the worst, worst kind of Apple Watch. It was a surprise. Watch. Actually the worst kind of Apple Watch is the Series One. <laughs> Oh, I thought that's what you Take had. that, Adam. Yeah. <laughs> Which is what Adam wears. Take that. A literal answer. Yeah. You bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you have the second to worst Apple Watch. Yeah, well, you have the worst face. Ooh. It's not true. Snap. It is true. A lot of people think that. No, I'm. there's a website, who has the shittiest face dot com, and mm. it's you. Somebody buy that domain and put it up immediately as soon as this <laughs> airs, please. That's fine. Please that will happen that. now. A direct request from you, dude. You know how many <laughs> fucking weird motherfuckers? <laughs> Just, Nick, I did it. I did it, Nick. <laughs> yeah. You're getting an Instagram DM. Right. No, I'm going to have a compound in 10 years, and we're all going to sink the katanas into our stomachs at the same time. That will be cool. I would love to I would love to commit seppuku. That would be great. Wouldn't Let's it be it. hilarious if uh, no? Well, you're gonna I'm sell, definitely gonna, you're gonna sell out. me and Stav out. I'm definitely gonna back. You're gonna out, find yeah. a way to distance yourself from the show as if it's been secretly problematic and bothered you the whole time. Oh yeah, no, it has the tell-all, yeah. the Adam biography where he fucking switches. Right, so you can have a regular career and you're gonna forget all a regular about career and what? All and going about on Chapo twice, being all, gay. Uh, all about your dear friend who gave you everything reluctantly. <laughs> Not based on Who resisted talent. every step of the way <laughs> <laughs> but the, good, the goodness of his heart He did it I can't wait to sell you guys out yeah. Har- I got Harvey Levin TMZ on speed dial Fuck dude Yeah. Don't tell Harvey how good I fuck Yeah I accidentally befriended a guy named Uh Ari Keichelberg and then I found out he's not even Jewish. He's not. A, what a waste. <laughs> yeah, so he could do nothing for me. <laughs> uh, boys, well, Norman Jewison. <laughs> Just think that about makes me think so about how many like production Jewish. companies gave him money and they're like, they're we can't, of course, we can't wait to see what kind of movie you make, Norm. Of course. They're like, by the way, we're having a Satan next week. He's like, oh, I'm not Jewish, and they're like. What? what? <laughs> you stop payment on the check. Get the money back. Get the money back now. <laughs> it's too late. He's already made a that couple of that, okay movies. That reminds me of that Simpsons joke where Krusty's like, "Let no- then if my accounts are watching, let nothing stop you from paying out this check. <laughs> great Simpsons joke. Yeah, that is a great joke. It's a good show. I like the Simpsons. That's my take. 
What do we got on the list, or is the show over? Uh, we're almost out of things here. What do we have on the list? Halloween is coming up. <laughs> That's oh, right. Yeah. That's on the list. Which <laughs> means we're bringing back Spooky <laughs> Stories Part 2. Oh, fuck. I forgot about Spooky um, Stories. Yeah, you know what I like, it. guys? Our, oh, wow. I guess it has spice. already been a year since the Spooky Stories. That was Which a great Which is funny is, like... The last Halloween seems like forever ago, but the mm-hmm. election seems like it was like that's so true. Literally a month ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, Trump's Halloween was president a- for a week. Halloween was a fuck. What did we do? Oh, it's going to be. Weird it's party? so funny. This next four years is going to breeze by. Not three years now. No, I, I don't no, know about that. It's, it's kind of the other way around because so much has happened. The next seven years is going to breeze by. <laughs> the next uh, 45 years until Trump dies and Donald Trump Jr. becomes king is going to breeze He's by. He's got to fucking throw Hillary in jail already. I'm fucking, I can't stand it. Hey, dude, come on. It was the don't coolest talk about thing Khaleesi he, like he was going to do. Who's Khaleesi? Hillary, Hillary Clinton. Clinton. It's no, this character I mean, on Game of Thrones based, based off on Hillary, Hillary Clinton. Should yeah, I one watch, of the dragons is John Podesta. It sucks, dude. Yeah, it doesn't suck. I watched it the first sucks. episode it's of my fun. friend's house, and I was like, "This is gay." And he's <laughs> like, "Yeah, I know, but I like it." It's gay, but it's expensive. I mean, like that's it's fun. It's a fun. It costs show. a lot of money. People this get last sliced season up. was like probably cost the most money. It was by far the worst season. It was not a good season. But I think at this but point, it was still fun to watch. Beyond the books. So it's just the producers yeah, yeah. writing George all the George I wish I had the money to buy the London Review of Books, and then I could just personally just say, like, this shit's gay. You could say gay <laughs> or not gay. <laughs> that's it. Oh, those are the that two. Is, that's yeah, yeah, that's all pretty you're good. Gay. <laughs> like, you just turn it into, like, Rotten Tomato-style uh, voting. Yeah. yeah, but it's just, yeah, it's just a <laughs> thumbs up, thumbs down <laughs> system. It's, it's a hard dick or a soft dick. This yeah. book's fucking stupid. This, this shit's What if it's <laughs> Do you think things are okay Or you just think it's Sick or gay No there's plenty of shit I think is okay Like Kingsman Secret Service I thought that was good That was it's good It's weird that you brought that up Because I was thinking of like What's something that I think is okay And then I thought Kingsman And I'm like No I actually like Kingsman I think we talked about that The other day oh. I want to watch it Isn't there like a It's pretty cool A very dude. climactic ass fucking scene uh no no <laughs> what are you talking somebody about? told me there was <laughs> oh you must be talking about Rosen <laughs> Rosen, yeah. Rosen Gilds and Smarch and fuck <laughs> Smarch and Schmidt. no no wait hold on let me get it for real wait, wait, Gilds and Krantz and Rosenstein Rosen Krantz and Gilds the coward Stern. Bob James <laughs> no no, no, no the coward the, Jesse Joyce the, cow, the coward <laughs> Jesse Joyce fucking episode. <laughs> Whatever man Fuck you guys uh, Whatever man This shit's boring Who cares <laughs> uh, Fuck That's <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. That was really good uh, Yeah that was a good one Licorice sucks huh What Black licorice sucks Fuck off It's good You like black licorice It's good Yeah You're either a black licorice guy Or not Or you think it's disgusting yeah, Either No if you like licorice You're either a pimp I am. Or, or <laughs> thank you. No, I am you, a pimp. <laughs> thank you. Next, autistic. next. You don't sell I'm a pimp. women. Next. You don't sell women. You're right. I don't. I respect women. If I was watching that. Hell yes. Women. Did you Hell watch yes. the pimp show? Hell yes, Amber. I hope that shit makes Thank you. I, I would love some licorice. Did you guys yes. watch the pimp oh, show with uh, yeah. James Amber, Franco? stop feeding stuff chocolates. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, stop feeding candy to stuff. Thank you. <laughs> you guys watch the pimp show with James Franco? Uh, no. Is he in it twice? He's a plays twins. What pimp show? The new HBO show. The so it's like David the, Chit. It's David like Simon. the movie The Parent Trap. Yep. Yeah, it's like the parent trap. His <laughs> parents get divorced. I've seen it. Next. <laughs> <laughs> Cancelled. All right, that's the show, folks. Bye. Goodbye. 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 Bye. Goodbye.